everybody, it's Venus here. I might just be a tiny little bit drunk. I just came out of the mall museum, the speakeasy on the basement that they have there. I drank quite a little bit, so yeah. Just so you know, I'm fun. I'm just a tiny little bit drunk. And Hi guys, it's Venus here again. It's same day, hours and hours later. It's 11.44, 45. Last time I spoke to you guys, it was about, or around five-ish, five? Around five in the afternoon. Yeah, around there. So, I wish I could have spoken to you guys sooner, but, you know, I was around Fremont, downtown. You know, doing stuff, having a little fun, which I which I hardly ever do. So I'm coming to you guys hours later, same day, just hours later, almost midnight. I'm heading back home to Toby now, so I'm well and I'm alive, just sober enough to talk to you guys. So anyway, it was a fun night. I just before uh, recording right now, I uploaded a video of Smash Mouth was playing on uh, Fremont Street so I recorded a couple of videos one of them I uploaded on YouTube for you guys to watch if you want it's public it's a public venue where a lot of people go so if you guys want to watch uh, Give me a minute. Okay. Back. Okay. It's a public venue. It's a... A lot of people go. It's basically, it's an open air venue. Whatever you want to call it. It's Fremont downtown. Where... If you've been to Las Vegas, you know downtown Fremont Street it's where a lot of people go to have fun and escape away from the actual Las Vegas Strip if if you've been to Las Vegas you know Las Vegas Strip now Las Vegas Strip now it's one of the main things people want to visit for one, because, you know, it has a lot of the main casino that it, main casinos in uh, general that uh, and the MGM properties own. And, you know, a lot of tourism goes. And downtown Fremont Street, it's... Uh, the original Las Vegas in a sense but anyway so if you've been there you know and now it has a canopy where there's live shows live whatever you want to call it so in, you, as you can hear I'm almost home and you guys can hear the music the venues the whole shenanigans and mind you, for one, it was the punk rock bowling, punk rock concert festival venue thing, just like a couple of blocks away from me or from where I live. And I completely forgot until I saw all the punks, all the punk people, all the punk bands, the whole shebang. 
So, if in case you're here a lot, you're now you know. It's just for this whole weekend, okay? But anyway. A lot of things, music, festivals, and the whole shebang going on this weekend. So, yeah. Oh, crazy. And I remember last time I spoke to you guys too, I talked to you guys about how I got into a car accident or a, an accident, I should say or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. I'm taking my time, or I'm taking time away from my actual job to recover, to get back into normal. So, I may or I may not upload more often than I usually do. So, and get ready to hear the barking and the whining, the, the whole shaman, because I'm right here. I'm about to open the door, and Toby's going to bark and cry in the whole, you know, the whole whatever doggies do. So, just get ready for that. Like I said, last time I spoke to you guys, I was on my way to the mall museum. I oh, I didn't take I, I didn't record video of that, but it was around five in the afternoon or so. All right. So it was around five ish in the afternoon, and there's Toby. All right, give me oh shit, give me a minute. And here we have Toby. Toby, my little bean, you know? my little love bug. He's my bug. He knows it. He loves it. He's, he gets excited every time I get home. So, and I was opening a drink that I was drinking on my way home. So, and I cut myself so I'm with Toby and I'm here so just give me a little bit so I can wash this cut off it so I can wash this off clean it up and bandage it okay just give me just a second I swear okay Toby will be here you're gonna hear him but just give me a minute Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. I hope you guys can see me. Toby's right here. I'm gonna clean this thing up. Okay. Toby. Hey. Yo sé. Ya estamos aquí. Yeah, go boy. Fijol. Churrito. But yeah. Um, we're here. Toby's excited that we're home. I know. I left him for, alone for so long. I feel bad. I honestly I do. I really do feel bad that I left him alone for so long. So, we're taking care of this wound. We're cleaning it up. We're sanitizing with an alcohol swab thing. It's not bad. It doesn't hurt. It's just, it's, it doesn't hurt for some reason. Maybe if it would have been a smaller cut, that would have hurt a lot. So, Toby.
dabbled over like a bitch. But it's clean, clean enough for me to put a bandaid. So let's get that done. Bandaid. And it's this ladybug lady person, whatever this is. Whoever this is. I know it's some type of cartoon from, I guess, Disney or something. So let's put this thing. And if you hear music on the background, it's because I typically leave music for Toby. There's a phone that I don't use anymore. So it's just running on Wi-Fi. So I use that for Toby to get music for him going on. So he doesn't feel so lonely. He's little butt. So I'm gonna take him out for him to do his last business, whatever he needs to do. And you guys are gonna come along. How about that? So yeah i know today is kind of a life a day in in uh whatever in my whatever you guys want to call it so you guys are coming along with me for now so yeah come with me so we're not actually gonna take him out on a walk. We're actually gonna take him out to the backyard of my apartment complex because he he gets a whole anxious with a lot of people. So we're going out on the backyard patio whatever what you want to call it so you guys are coming along so earlier today before I went to Ferguson's downtown I've been meaning to take him to this um, what do you call it restaurant if you will or this place that makes food like human grade food for dogs it's called a pub something 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 it's like it's about a 10 15 minute walk from me from us from where we live and i've been meaning to take him over there and today was the day that he and I went. It was like a sort of like a Sunday fun day kind of deal for he and I. It was for a couple hours. It was fun actually. I wish I could have recorded some videos of him and I. He actually, because uh, when we went, I bought a plate thing. All right, just give me a minute. Okay. So, when we went, I actually bought him for a plate. I, I bought him two dishes. One it was uh, to bring home for him for a uh, later use and one for dining he actually enjoyed it he actually finished the whole thing i didn't think he was even gonna eat it or any of that sort i thought he was gonna just not gonna eat it or any or just gonna look away but he actually ate it and I was surprised he actually did, which 
was surprising to me he's a chihuahua you guys know so typically you guys know chihuahuas if you guys want pets chihuahuas are typically picky eaters so i was amazed he actually even ate the whole plate as like a dining thing i was surprised he actually did so i was surprised i think the one that he ate was something pork or something something pork i forget the other flavor it's sirloin something with peas and carrots the one that i uh, the dining one flavor was pork something with a uh, spinach and something else and he like i said he actually ate it oh my god i was surprised that he actually did so which which is good i'm surprised he even did that so but anyway continuing on i'm a, it was uh for now aside from everything else for now i'm taking everything day by day recovering from the accident that i was on that i told you guys a lot on the last video not the smash mouth that i just uploaded today or today yesterday yesterday if that makes sense but anyway last video not i explained to you guys what had happened so from which the accident had not this weekend but the last weekend I explained to you what had happened on my way home from the chiropractor place. So, which, it's not an easy thing. If any of you out there have been in an accident, whatever type of accident, car crash or hit and run or some type of accident that somebody, you know, some type of accident like such, you know it's considered an accident in some type of way and if you've been there you know it's not easy you're you can feel okay but you're actually not okay not physically not mentally no nothing at all so if you've been there you if you know you know so Sorry. Oh, sorry. I was actually getting a bag just in case it's Toby Poopies close to the bathroom. But anyway, if you've been there, if you know, you know. If you've been in an accident like that, you know. But anyway, so if in the next like if in this video and the next ones thereafter i say i literally been hit by a bus it's because i actually was it wasn't an actual bus like a city bus or school bus but a shuttle bus if you know so if i say that it's because it, i literally freaking mean it and I literally was hit by a bus I was hit from my left side and I was and I fell down to my right side okay another minute I swear oh oh shit No shit. But anyway, like, like I was saying, if I say I, I got hit, it feels like I hit, got hit by a buzz. It's because I literally mean it. I literally got hit by a buzz. 
and it feels like such and it was I was hit by a bus a shuttle bus I should say so which is basically a bus so and it feels horrendous I personally I feel like shit like I literally I'm, and I mean this as a joke and like I literally got hit by a freaking bus okay and I feel like shit for one I'm happy that I'm even alive for one that I'm alive that nothing else happened but that I'm actually alive to to have experienced this and to tell you guys or my experience in that situation so and I'm happy that I'm actually alive to care for Toby and that my mom and my sister didn't have to suffer a heartache because of a careless driver. I was visible. I had a reflective vest. My bicycle had lights. The wheels in my bicycle had lights. They were like bright, freaking bright pink. I had the front light, the you know typical white typical light that would you would see in a car but for a bicycle and the red one on the back like you would see in a car too and i also had the headlamp too and i had the reflective vest like the construction workers use so i i'm not sure how much brighter i could have been i also waited for any other course that could have been turning or anything even. I even waited for the shuttle bus to come to a full stop before I crossed over to the other side of the sidewalk. But anyway, continuing on, I just wanna say I'm even happy that I'm still here, alive. It just bruises, Right, scrapes, scratches, whatever you want to put in between. Nothing was broken. Nothing was, I'm okay, I'm alive. All I had was a concussion. A really, really bad headache. Really nauseous, which I still feel up to this day, which are, is like about eight to nine days after. The accident happened. I still feel all of that. The concussion was severely bad at the time of the accident. It's not as bad, but it's bad. But it's not as bad as it was the day of. So I'm happy that I'm here to care for Toby to talk to you guys. And that I didn't give my mom for one and my sister the heartache that any other family could have suffered because of a careless driver. So, I wanna say, please, if you drive a car, or just generally, if you drive, please watch out for pedestrians and for people that are riding bicycles, please watch out. I beg you, please do. No matter as dark as the clothes may be, if they're wearing the necessary things for them to be visible, even pedestrians, please watch out, please do. If you have a car, you, are, you can get to your destination a lot quicker than a pedestrian and than a pedestrian can 
faster than a cyclist or pedestrian can. So please watch out, okay? Please, I beg you, please do. You don't, <sighs> please do, okay? But anyway, other than this, please, I, Toby and I have fun. We had a fun day today, a Sunday, which for me, in a way, for me and Toby was a lazy fun day. I really didn't do anything else but take him out uh, to a restaurant that I wanted to take him out to or take him to for an outing that I've been meaning to take him to, which I could have, but I couldn't really find at the time, if that makes sense, which today I was able to, and I'm happy I did. So, it was a fun day for him and I. Toby, Vivito. So, it was a fun day for him and I earlier, and I also had fun. So, it kind of was like a self care day today. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Comment, like, and subscribe if you will. Okay? Bye. I'll talk to you guys next time.